Hi, this is Julia and welcome back to Azing News. Timores participated in 2023 parliamentary election. Timorese voters headed to the polls on May 21, 2023 in a parliamentary election that analysts said would like to see two resistance era figures battle to be prime minister. Sunday's polls is the country's fifth parliamentary election since East Timor gained full independence in 2002 following decades-long occupation by Indonesia. 17 parties are competing in the election but two, the National Congress for Timorese Reconstruction, led by independence hero Shanana Guzman and Fred Lin, led by resistance figure Marie Alcatiri, are expected to dominate. The party with a parliamentary majority will nominate the next prime minister. The new parliament will take office on June 12, 2023. Timor-Leste commemorates its 21st Independence Day. On 20 May 2023, Timor-Leste celebrates Independence Day for the 21st after it achieved its independence on 20 May 2002. This day is special to the people of East Timor because of the long bloody decades-long conflict it took to finally achieve independence. The first proclamation of independence was signed on November 28, 1975, when the country sought independence from Portugal. However, its independence was short-lived, as East Timor was quickly and violently captured by Indonesians. Up to 200,000 people died from the violence and other woes such as illness and hunger. East Timor was recognized as an independent republic by the United Nations in 2002, and in September of that year, the country was renamed Timor-Leste to honor its Portuguese roots. In 2002, Shanana Guzman became the first president of Timor-Leste. SEA Games drew to a close in Cambodia with a spectacular ceremony. The 32nd Southeast Asian Games drew to a close with a spectacular closing ceremony at Mororok Techno National Stadium in Phnom Penh, Cambodia. Cambodian Prime Minister Hun Sen and Thailand Deputy Prime Minister Prawit Wong Su Wan were among the dignitaries watching on along with athletes from all 11 of the ASEAN countries. The ceremony featured musical and art performances as well as parade of some of the SEA Games competitors. Cambodia finished fourth in the medal table behind Vietnam, Thailand, and Indonesia after winning 282 medals, 81 of them gold, 74 silver, and 127 bronze. Thailand keen and farmers mark the beginning of their rice growing season to a royal palm ceremony. A crowd adorned in white and yellow shirts gathered at the Sanam Luang grounds in Bangkok to participate in the royal ploughing ceremony, which was attended by King Maha Vajira Long Kong and Queen Sutida. Many of them farmers, the participants were quick to collect grains of rice used in the ceremony, marking the start of the rice cultivation season. Many Thais believe the collected rice is a divine gift and will be able to help bring about lush rice fields and abundant crops. During the ceremony, oxen grazed on grass and partook in liquor, serving as symbols of plentiful water sources, flourishing agriculture, improved transportation, enhanced international trade, and a prosperous economy. Philippines approved tariff commitments under RCEP. The ASEAN Secretariat recently said the Philippines has deposited its instrument of ratification of the Regional Comprehensive Economic Partnership to the ASEAN headquarters in Jakarta, Indonesia. The RCEP agreement will officially enter into force for the Philippines on June 2, 2023. The Philippine Senate ratified the RCEP in February. The RCEP comprises 15 Asia-Pacific countries including the 10 ASEAN member states of Brunei, Cambodia, Indonesia, Laos, Malaysia, Myanmar, the Philippines, Singapore, Thailand, and Vietnam, and their five trading partners, namely China, Japan, South Korea, Australia, and New Zealand. It represents the world's largest free trade area, covering about 30% of the world's population, as well as 30% of the world's economic and trade volume. 
Philippines places Boeing in part of South China Sea to assert sovereignty. A government official said the Philippines has placed navigational buoys with its exclusive economic zone to assert sovereignty over the disputed Spratly Islands in the South China Sea. A Philippine Coast Guard PCG video released showed its personal lowering and installing the buoys marked with the Philippine flag in the South China Sea. Philippines National Security Advisor Eduardo Ano, who led a commemoration ceremony in Manila, marking the installation, told reporters it was a way to assert the country's sovereignty and also help people out at the sea with maritime safety. This step comes amid China's increasingly aggressive actions in the South China Sea as Philippine President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. pursues warmer ties with treaty ally the United States. China's embassy in Manila did not immediately respond to a request for comment. Fire breaks out of a major shopping in capital Kuala Lumpur. Thick smoke was seen blowing out of a major shopping mall in Malaysia's capital Kuala Lumpur. Eyewitness footage shared with Reuters show fire and black smoke bleaching out at the facade of Mid Valley Mega Mall. The eyewitness said electricity was down at the mall and people were being evacuated. The mall said in a Facebook post that the fire broke out at an external substation and has since been contained. Mid Valley Mega Mall added that there were no casualties reported. Thank you very much everyone. We will see you again soon. Have a nice day.